It's a cool, damp night in early spring. After six months on land, one of Britain's rarest amphibians is returning to the pond where she was born. On land, she's vulnerable, so she travels under the cover of darkness. But once she reaches water, this great crested newt will become a voracious predator. Common frogs have already been and gone, leaving thousands of eggs protected only by their jelly. No defense against a hungry newt. But she hasn't just come to the pond to feast. She has her own eggs to lay. But first, she requires the services of a mate. Overnight, male newts have made their way to the pond. Only the most alluring will win her affection. They're dressed to impress with extravagant crests grown especially for their courtship dance. All the better to show off their moves. But the females far from impressed. She's proving hard to please. Eventually, her most flamboyant suitor sees off the competition and catches her eye. Finally, he has the fussy female under his spell. She's captivated by his every move. He drops a packet of sperm and quickly leaves the scene. She carefully positions herself over it and takes it into her body. Now her eggs are fertilized, she needs somewhere safe to lay them. Unlike the frogs, she won't leave them exposed. She's looking for the perfect leaf and she's as fussy as ever. She needs a leaf that is clean and flexible. But why? She has skills in aquatic origami. Once she's found the perfect leaf, she lays a single green egg under it and gently folds it out of sight. The egg is coated with a sticky secretion. She squeezes the leaf together and waits for the glue to set. She remains patiently statuesque for three minutes. Over the next month, she'll hide four or five eggs every day, most of which will hatch. devoted diva has stacked the odds firmly in her offspring's favor.